Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. So we worked together for a number of years, and we were friends until uh, Rose's death. And uh, uh, I've been a great fan of theirs, and they have done an incredible job. Uh, my wife Beth was involved in the first mailings and putting the Bible things together, and uh, so we have great admiration. Our kids. Uh, went to school together, uh, John and uh, two of my sons, and uh, so we have both a personal relationship, but uh, a great deal of respect for both Roe and for John and what they have done in uh, the ministry, T taking it all around the world. I'd like to say uh, Roe when he came over to America, had uh, some challenges because uh, uh, Christians sometimes are not as welcoming as uh, internationals as they should be. But Roe always dealt with those issues with grace and class. And uh, I've just been one of his great admirers until he's dead. Yesterday was my first day on the board of directors, uh, and uh, I'm honored that they've asked a man who has a few years of his life uh, to come and be a part of what's happening now. And the situation yesterday uh, was just incredible to see. Today uh, it was incredible to see what God has been doing, and one of the things that I appreciate so much about John is how he has the ministry, but he's also collaborating with others and have other opportunities so that together we can all be stronger. And uh, one of the goals of my life is how do we as Christians work together for the kingdom and putting uh, our own ministries in conjunction with theirs. And so Bibles for the world, it's still hard for me just to say that because I also believe so strongly in the partnership mission aspect of the ministry. Having been involved with international students and other international organizations like Prison Fellowship or Cure International, to see the nationals taking leadership is to me a tremendous uh, blessing. So I, uh, this weekend has been really impactful for me again to see what God is doing through the lives that are committed to Him. Well, there seems to be a number of heartbeats. One is the heartbeat for the Bible distribution. Now getting it uh, in collaboration with uh, Luis Palau and with uh, the Billy Graham Association, all of those. But then also to see what's happening on a local level with the school and with the hospital and with uh, the ministry over in uh, Northeast India. Uh, we need to be celebrating and supporting uh, our brothers and sisters that are faithful to the call. I believe we've got to earn the right to be heard as we uh, share the uh, word, but that they have to have the word in their language so they can identify with that. But now that we're a universal uh, group, there is cross-fertilization there, but uh, this collaboration and getting that the story today about Ukraine and getting that uh, message there in their own language and uh, each of these other places, I'm amazed at how quickly they can get some of these printed. So as I look back on the seeds that were sown by Rochunga and Mao, uh, and now that it's being lived out again uh, in, uh, in John and Lao. So the evangelism, uh, there's all parts to it, and it's the getting that puzzle all put together that uh, to me makes it a powerful uh, junction. Well, of course, 
uh, the first one is uh, by giving. And uh, having been involved with uh, ECFA and its beginnings, uh, we wanted, wanted to make sure that what the people were saying was happening in their ministry could be uh, affirmed. I have full confidence that uh, what uh, Bibles for the World says, this is what we're doing, that they're doing. So we have the confidence. Uh, second of all, that they are using it efficiently. And, uh, as I've gotten to know what's happened in recent years as well, uh, I can say uh, with confidence they can trust uh, what the Bible of the world is doing. Well, one of the things that hit me today or this weekend was uh, at the service when they had prayer in six different languages, which shows to me this coming together again, that we're stronger together as we uh, face what's going to be a lot of challenges, not only here in the United States for the Word, but uh, all of the places that Bibles for the World are working in. And so we need that prayer support. But uh, having known grow and Molly, that was their hurt. Uh, they were prayer award. And it wasn't just on the platform, it was uh, in uh, personal meetings, but also in their own personal life. And I found the same thing true with John. Well, I think it's been a well-kept secret in many ways, because they emphasize doing the work instead of promoting themselves. But as you know, in your ministry, uh, we've got to get the message out so people know what's going on and that they have faithful hearers to hear. Celebrate what Jesus is doing throughout the nation and rise up to answer His call on your life. To serve the poor, heal the broken, free the captives, and bring joy to those in need. Find hope, encouragement, and motivation through Overcomers TV. This inspiring network features everyday people and ministries across America who are putting God's love in action. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome.